A couple of weeks ago, I got the chance to visit the city of Bath. It's located in northeast Somerset and is named after its Roman built baths and is now a World Heritage Site. The city became a hub for the Romans who discovered hot springs in 60 AD, turning the city into a spa. The hot springs are still used today and open for visitors to experience at the Thermae Spa and Gainsborough Hotel. The city attracts over 1.3 million yearly visitors, and after spending 24 hours here, it's easy to tell why Bath is such a popular destination for tourism. So tag along with me as I wander around this fairy tale city and share the best things to see, do, and eat in Bath. From London, the train to Bath leaves from Paddington Station and takes about an hour and a half. You'll get off at Bath Spa Station, which is about a five minute walk into the city centre. I forgot my tripod at home. This is gonna be fun to film. People are watching me as I'm vlogging on the other side. <laughs> I am going to head out now because I want to enjoy the sunshine. It's an absolutely beautiful day today. I'm gonna to be hitting the main touristy spots. So I do wanna to go to the Royal Crescent, which is that long, beautiful semicircle line of Georgian townhouses. Um, and then I will head to the circus, which is also Georgian architecture. I want to hit Alexandra Park for sunset um, and in between just roam around. So this is the look, let's hit the streets, let's go check out Bath. In the heart of the city is the Bath Abbey, which was built in the 7th century. The coronation of the first king of all England, King Edgar, was held at the abbey in 973. The abbey is built of Bath limestone, like most buildings in Bath. It's a fine example of perpendicular Gothic architecture, with defining features like the angel's climb, a biblical reference to Jacob's ladder from the book of Genesis. It just, it tastes like a bun. It's just a sweet bun with a giant cube of sugar in the middle. Um, five out of 10. But my coffee views are a 10 out of 10. First sight guys, bath is beautiful. I'm a fan and I'm liking what I'm seeing. Austin fans, there's a small museum for you to check out. There's costume guides that take you through the life of Jane Austen and share what it was like to live through the Regency era. The circus is a landmark in Bath, known for its iconic Georgian architecture. The circus was built between 1754 and 1769 and designed by John Wood the Elder. These townhouses are now designated as Grade 1 listed buildings. Just a two minute walk away from Brock Street, you'll find the Royal Crescent. Regarded as one of the greatest examples of Georgian architecture, the Royal Crescent was designed by John Wood the Younger, son of the architect who designed the circus. So I've been chilling out here, it's been nice sunny skies, but I am hungry so I think I'm gonna go find some food, but this is a beautiful view. So yeah, I'm gonna chill. 
Uh, I'm gonna eat and then I will go to Alexandra Park after that. So 30 minutes of walking. Alexandra Park was way more of a workout than I was expecting to be. I was not, I was not prepared for that. But I'm gonna chill out now. I'm gonna go check out the spa and the pool downstairs and just relax. So on that note, I will give you guys a bit of a life update. So where have I been for the past couple of months? I had exams after I came back from Berlin um, when I posted my birthday vlog. That was the last video I shared. After that, I had to write five exams back to back. It was quite demanding so I had a lot of things going on at once and it was intense in the sense that all of our exams were worth 100% of our grades so it was important to just focus on that one thing. And then I went back home in May to Vancouver which was really nice and spent time with my family. I came back from Vancouver and then I was working on my master's thesis for three months. So that's where I've been. I've been busy. I have been focusing on school. I am now a officially finished my master's degree but yeah so that's the plan now i'm going to chill the pool and then get some dinner and then i'm going to pass out just woke up i'm having my coffee to this beautiful view but I'm late now to go get breakfast, so I should probably go do that. After breakfast, I headed over to Therme Spa to indulge in the mineral-rich water and spa treatments that Bath is famously known for. I started my visit in the Wellness Suite, which offers visitors five unique steam and sauna rooms. The first is the Roman Steam Room, inspired by the Roman history of Bath. The steam is infused with botanicals and flowers for their antiseptic and healing powers, as regarded by the Romans. Next is the Georgian room, filled with floral steam. The room is designed to reflect the Georgian architecture of Bath, using elements of garden scenes and nature that surround the city. Onwards is the infrared room. The room transmits infrared waves of light into the muscles and joints, providing the same benefits of a steam or sauna without the heat. The wellness suite also has an ice chamber as a break from the steam rooms. The ice is used as a gentle exfoliant and reduces your surface temperature. And last is the celestial relaxation room. Room. The room is inspired by William Herschel, a Bath-based astronomer who discovered the planet Uranus. After the steam rooms, I headed up to the gorgeous rooftop pool. Not only do you get incredible views of Bath, but the pool is filled with naturally warm, mineral-rich water. This was easily one of my favorite parts of the Thermae experience. If you prefer being indoors, head down to the lower level where you'll find the gorgeous indoor pool, which is also filled with mineral-rich water. Across the street from the spa, you'll find the cross bath. You can watch the natural Natural thermal waters bubble up from the ground up from this little poolside fountain. At the end of my treatment, I visited the Springs Cafe and had some coffee while overlooking the historic streets of Bath. Okay, I'm running late to check out. That is a wrap for Bath, but there's a few more things I'm gonna see before I leave. I'm gonna check out the iconic bridge you see on all the postcards. Probably gonna try some more food and then head back to London around two. So yeah, that's the plan. I need to leave and I will see you guys in the other pretty locations. Built 
in 1774, the bridge is home to a unique feature, having shops and cafes built across a bridge in full span on both sides. Check out the cafes on the bridge for amazing pastries and walk around the River Avon for some beautiful views. In the past 24 hours, I think I enjoyed pretty much every activity I did and every site I visited. But if I were to give recommendations for my absolute favorite things to do in Bath, I'd say visit the Royal Crescent, walk around Pulteney Bridge, and you can't visit Bath without going to Thermae Spa.